All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? We are once again going in with the replays of the week. And uh, like I said last week, if you guys do want me to send a, I mean, you do want me to uh, watch a replay and commentate over it and stuff like that, just send it to me. I got my email down in the description below. So if you guys do feel like you want to send me something to watch or a funny replay or something like that, I would include it in next week's video but i only do around five replays because i don't really want the video to be too long but if we start getting or if i start getting a whole bunch of replays and stuff like that we'll probably do 10 or something like that um but yeah these are the replays of the week so if you guys do enjoy it leave a like leave a comment also subscribe um and if you guys can click an ad to support the channel so without further ado let's go ahead and start and as you can see i'm playing zombies and I'm going up against Super Heavy Samurais. And I did not open up the greatest hands. But you know what? I, I, I can't complain with a Gozuki. So he summons a Kaiju right here. And then summons this Super Samurai Thief. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Thief. Which takes back row. Which I did not know. Because I easily would have chained the Book of Moon. But that ends his play for then. So uh, I go. Use the Mizuki. Gets Book of Moon. But uh, it, it's not really too much I can do. It's doing to a third Mizuki. So I end up using Gold Shark to get the two-star banish because if Gozuki dies, we can go ahead and just banish this, special summon a Gozuki or special summon this and keep it for next turn, and then we would be all right. So he ends up going into a battle ball uh, and then using it to steal the Kaiju he just gave me back uh, and then Synchro on something, which I feel like battle ball is a really fun card to play. Like, you can literally play it in anything. You just need some extra deck cards. I mean, you just need some uh, super heavy samurai monsters, synchro monsters to go into, and yeah. So here it goes. I goes into start. A, I go into start. Not goes, but I go into start as charge where think. Um, basically going to banish this, banish the spirit master so I can pop this. But I'm just trying to get this negate out of the graveyard because I can't target monsters, and I'm thinking that it's going to happen in the chain, but it it's not. Anyways, he ends up booking it. Uh I end up drawing Brigaki off of the start as charge warrior and that pretty much says the end of that. And as you can see, this man had more kaijus to go on top of the ones he already had. Now, here is the second duel of the same match and as you can see, he opened up the same exact pretty much hand. Look, he has triple kaiju. So right here, I open up Burning Fusion. So as you I know what you thought is guys are probably thinking all right well you're just gonna go double omega no i decided i want to fuck up the whole play and go into a levy for no apparent reason knowing i can't do anything with it so i end up just i think this really what cost me the duel is because i i ended up doing it, it just this this right here was just completely stupid i easily could have ended with two omegas um i could have easily ended with two omegas um and then that would have been cool right there in its own and a burial in my hand for next turn but end up fucking that up. So I end up getting kaiju again. He summons this. This, I uh, guess, searches this this card. And then he's going to equip it and get another battle ball and take it again. And then take one of, uh, I think, take uh, my burial from different dimension in the graveyard. So goes over to attack some of my units. So I'm thinking, all right, you know, I still have something. I just need to top deck something so I can continue going. But top deck into a brilliant fusion. But it's okay. I still have the Mizuki and a Levier on board. So... I can do something with that. So here I'm thinking, all right, here we go. I can get game. I can, you know, I can do, I can do something major. I can beat him, uh, go into a Castello. And then this is where I realized I'm just 100 short of beating this man. And it's like, dot damn it, man. So I'm sitting here thinking, all right, you know, I, I can, I can win. I can win. There's not, you know, 100 life points. I got 7,000. There's not really too much he can do. But if you guys have ever played super heavy samurais, you know they can come back with the instant because of all their cards that they can just go ahead and just special them shit in defense so you can't really attack over. Goes into another battle ball, gets a, this motherfucker out, which is 4,800, and that's just too much. And then he goes into number 41. So now I'm, I'm just locked out. I need to draw either a, tra uh, a spell or a trap. Um, that's pretty much the only thing. Or a kai I don't play kaiju, so yeah, I needed a spell and trap uh, to get over this. But drawing the two Scorpios after I already drew the goddamn other card. What is this name? What is the other game? The Cobra. I drew, I drew the Cobra first turn, and I get two Scorpios. And then he equips that, pierces for 4,800. And then after that, he left. I don't understand why he left, but he did leave, so we did not get to conclude with the third duel of the day. So right now, we're going to go and head over and switch over to Spirals. And as you can see, I opened up a decent hand. And right here, I'm thinking uh, if I should go Resort or not. And I end up going up against it because I did not want it to lose it just off of one search 
Um, so I end up not using it. And then he uh, goes, activate trade-in. I trade my drone lock bird because I learned my lesson from last time, letting something go. And he just ends his turn with a spirit dragon and a blue eyes. So right here, he goes, gets the Azure eyes out after I activate Rota, which I don't understand why he did it. But uh, I, I, I still don't know why he preemptively did it. So here you go. I'm thinking, all right, so how can I get over both of these cards? So I go summon Spiral Tough. My whole my, my first thing was that I was going to try to pop the Spirit Dragon so I can get over uh, what's the name so I can use my quick fixes. But like I said, he already preemptively activated the Spirit Dragon. So that got me out of that. Searched, I searched the drone so I can discard it to the graveyard because now I, I figure out how I'm going to be able to get over his board. And as if you guys know, if you guys have ever seen spirals, you know where I'm about to go. So I go into a princess sprite, get a foolish burial, which is actually going to come in handy next. I mean, uh, ne later on this turn. So I get this back, use drone to see the next three cards out of his deck. Then I use drones effect to pump it up to 2,900, equip that, make that a good old 3,900. So now when I can get over this and banish the other card, then I use Foolish to send the third quick fix to the graveyard so I can go ahead and go into Dullahan. So next turn, I can still stop my opponent. And with Drone, I did rearrange his deck. I gave him two. Uh, these were the three targets. I put him. I gave him two Cosmic Cyclones because I'm thinking this game is pretty much out of reach. And I should have gave him the monster because with the monster, he would not have been able to do too much because, like I said, I can make it miss timing and stuff like that. So that was definitely a mistake. So he draws. The, I mean, he gets the Cosmic Cyclone. Banishes my face down utility wire, so now I'm thinking, why the fuck did I give him that cyclone, knowing that was my only line of defense was the utility wire. So, uh, for some reason, he just goes alternative and ends his turn. Um, I don't know if he, he does. He just not play. He, oh, he, he plays his eyes. I don't know why he didn't. I don't know why he didn't. Uh, I don't really don't know why he didn't. At least get something else out, but end up using a uh, princess sprite missing. And then I end up winning because, like I said, I already had to tough rearrange his deck and stuff like that. And, yeah, that was it. So, he ends up accepting the rematch. So, we go into a game two. And I opened up Broken. I opened up a resort with a machine dupe. So, you guys know where this is going. Let's see how many pluses we can get. That's one. Um, here goes, uh, what? Uh, okay, we're going to just count at the end of the turn because, we. yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to keep up with everything that's going on. As you can see right here, we're just doing standard plays. Get lucky and get kind of lucky and mill a drone lock bird. So now I don't have to preemptively use my duller hand so I can keep that at two. Um, and we end up with what? Four or five. We end up with a plus four. I mean, spirals can easily do that. That's just what spirals do. Um, so here he goes. He summons uh, alternative dragon and then uses ravine. So right here, I'm thinking, all right, what is he going to do? And he ends up going attacking on galaxy and then attacking, which I did not understand. I would have thought that he went into, um, uh, he doesn't play it. Okay. Well, <laughs> I thought he was going to go into photon armor, photon armor. And then, uh, not photon, full armor. I think it's, is it full armor? I have no clue. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. The one that pops face up. And then I thought he was going to go into, uh, what is it? Um, you, the one that sends three and banishes three, uh, galaxy. I think galaxy eyes. Yeah. I think his name is Galaxy Eyes, but no, he just goes into an attack. I mean, he's clearly he doesn't play any of that. So he this negates all my effects. I mean, all my monsters' effects. So I'm thinking, all right, that's a pretty cool play. He summons the Dragon with Spirit of White, banishing my uh, Spiral Rescue. Uh, I mean, Sp Spiral Resort. And so I'm thinking, fuck, I need to draw something. I need to draw a Spiral Super Agent. And there we go. We did top deck it. We already had the drone, so we can rearrange his deck and stuff like that. Use the drone to pump him up by two thousand. Quick fix, go ahead and get us another big red. Big red gets us a drone. Drone's effect again, pumping them up even more, adding the drone back. I'm just going to let this play because this is just, is this what is this so good, man? I really love, like I said, man, the spiral mission cards are amazing. Really wish there was just a better way to search the card. So end up pumping this up all the way to 6,400. Doing the most damage I can and then end up attacking into a mass dragon. I thought it was gonna be a ain't I thought it was gonna be this card, but it's a mass dragon. So yeah, that was uh that was very interesting to go against. So he tops deck a gospel or revival. Um I used the utility wire. Now it's pretty much it. He really couldn't do anything. So for the last replay of the day, we're going to be playing. I'm uh, it's gonna be a special one. So you guys are ready? I hope you guys are sitting down because when you when you see this, you're gonna Gonna you're gonna go a little crazy. So here we go. We are playing D Heroes. Like I just picked a random deck to play 
for the last replay because uh, nobody sent in a replay. So we're just going to have to come up with some on ourselves. So here we go with the uh, the Destiny Heroes. And I'm just going to. I'm just going to just briefly go over what happened. This is the funniest shit. Not, it's not funny for my opponent, but this shit is just crazy. The, the cards I draw are just stupid. This is the luckiest I've ever been playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Watch this shit. So going to a Beatrice, doing the regular combo. I'm thinking, all right, we're not going to, you know, end up with the best. Fit. I think we're going to end up with, you know, just a Omega Beatrice, you know, with, with a card set. Standard. But... So I use the Mally, you know, get the last Mally out. So I'm, I'm left with one Mally in the deck. So I'm thinking, all right, so now I can lure. Let's see what my options is. End up drawing into a pot of Avidity. So that even make, that makes it a lot better because now I get to put the Mallys back and I can continue my play. So I'm thinking, all right, you know, we're going to get one, you know, one draw. And it's going to be cool. Drawn to a fucking Soul Charge. <laughs> so now <laughs> we're just going to get out of hand. Now we can just do what we want. And a good thing about Vion, which I, I totally forgot. Now, I know I didn't really forget. I knew it was one of these effects that were not once per turn. So Vion isn't once per turn. So we can search another polymerization. We get the fusion substitute, go into Coral Dragon, get to Tazoken, draw into a fucking pot of desires. Now, I do mess up because right here, when I'm actually playing, I'm just laughing my ass off because I'm like, fuck, this is, this is so goddamn ridiculous to do. So here we go. We go into the Draco Quest. Now, right here is where I fuck up. I still have Mally and a Plague Spreader in my graveyard. And a fucking Celestial for next turn. So, what? He, obviously, the smart thing would have been to do it is to stack this and then go into a Mally. And then go into an Omega, then set. But, no, I'm so goddamn excited and fu this laughing and shit. I end up preemptively doing this. And this is where I was like, oh, fuck, I'm about to fuck. I can't, now I can't get this monster out of my hand, so I'm kind of fucked. So I'm like, you know, it, it's cool. I end up drawing to a fucking strike. So now I have a solid warning and a strike. Crystal wing, it's just, I was like, God damn. I was like, I don't even care if I lose. This is the funniest thing. This is just so stupid, like, what we drew into. It was just so dumb. So playing against Ign uh what's not ignite uh we're playing against abyss actors and he activate ignite reload so right here i'm just letting him do whatever play he wants to do because i said all right anything threatening if he's like probably pin on something four i got a strike if he tries to uh uh what's something like i said if he, he pretty much if he doesn't pin on four i have a solid i mean i have storming mirror force and then if he tried to activate like a monster effect i got crystal wing so he pinned on something as this i'm like okay that you know really not a problem then he activate this card where any card in battles goes back to the hand. So I'm thinking, okay. Then he activate this, because I'm not reading none of this because I'm still laughing. He activate this, which makes it so you can attack at least three. It can make a second and a third attack on monsters during each battle phase. So I'm like, oh, fuck. He can get over three of my monsters. <laughs> so he goes to attack, and I end up using Stormy Mirror Force. <laughs> he ends up quitting after that, which I do not blame him. So <laughs> that is just... A funny replay we got at the end so thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy that i had a lot of fun getting those replays and uh i, I could have easily got multiple replays with uh with zombies going triple omega or something like that but i decided i want to i want to get like just different replays where it's not just one-sided it may be one or two replays where it's just i'm going off but you know most of the replays i want to get like at least a at least a th two out of three match so, you know, it can be a back and forth thing. So, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you guys do want to send in a replay, email is in the description. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week.